Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on with you guys and your beautiful energy. I will, each and every one of you lovely souls are feeling amazing. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I welcome each and every one of you if you are new here to the channel. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am a clear audience and I am also an empath. And the way that that works, the way I do things on my side of the planet is I utilize the music in my readings and the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the video, it will all correlate to what is coming out uh, with the tarot cards as well as what I may be channeling intuitively. And it all just blends very beautifully if I do say so myself. Uh, the way things work here is my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Okay. Um, also my readings are timeless. So whenever you found this reading, uh, or whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that the messages have done so. So, before we delve any deeper, before we proceed with the read, I would like to do some house cleaning. Uh, Shay, so. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. Uh, I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So what time is it on the Klizak? So it's 7.34. So that's 7, 7 on the clock. So there's definitely personal growth. I feel like you and a person you're attracting or whatever it is you're attracting is definitely in the same vibration. So you, you could be attracting someone that's on the same wavelength vibration. Seven is associated with the crown chakra. It's also associated with the chariot. Uh, but when you combine those two numbers, it reduces to 14. That's five. So this is about self-mastery. This is about maturation, growth, elevation. This could be about you also like building your spiritual knowledge, wealth of knowledge. Um, we have Shalimar. This is called Called, this is for the lover in you. So some of you all could be healing yourselves, working on yourselves. I see the, um, what is this? This is the uh, page of pentacles along with the star. So you could be looking to uh, make a generous offer to someone because maybe you recognize someone's beauty. You see someone is very regal, royal. Um, they have, may have some star quality. Uh, they may intrigue you. Maybe this is you healing thyself, loving thyself, working on a new project. Have some sort of new um, incentive or goal that you're working on. Maybe you're in a studious energy, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, honing your skills. Um, maybe this is you at work, working on different projects. Um, this is a beautiful energy. I see here um, now the page of cups. So there could be some new beginnings in love, maybe a new job offer, a new love offer in the make making because we did just see 7-7. Seven, seven. I was saying how, you know, that's like personal growth. So you and someone you could be attracting to you, they could be in the same energy vibration as you. And you two may be really just like calling one another in. Um, I see the strength here. So you've definitely taken your power back. You're standing in your power. That's also uh, speaking to like karmic situations in your past. You've learned to be more bold, more daring, more risky, to stand in your power, to brave your light, to speak your truth, to express yourselves. Um, I'm also seeing the three of cups. So someone could also be seeing this growth, seeing these changes in you. Uh, maybe you all are reminiscing on some fun times with someone in particular uh, with this three of cups. This is like reuniting, reconnecting. Um, but we're going to tap in and see So let's tap in So spirit, what's coming in for my beautiful Pisces May I have a message of love and light I'm also getting like, you know, reminiscing You know, maybe there's someone in particular Maybe you're hearing songs And it's making you think of someone in particular With this is for the lover in you I definitely um, am getting a sense of like Maybe some of you all are um, 
you know, your heart chakra is opening up for you. So the overall energy for my beautiful Pisces is we have the nine of cups. That's beautiful. So the lover in you. So you've been pouring into your own cup, loving you. You know, the nine of cups is really about selfish loving me, myself and I. So you've really taken, you know, that time to to focus on the self. This is about self-discipline, self-love, self-care, self-worth, self-value, also creating boundaries when necessary. I feel like there's someone that desires you. You can see how he's reaching, but there's a snake in front of him and snakes are indicative of change. So someone could be going through some startling metamorphosis, recognizing, you know, that their love is you, recognizing you as a potential wish fulfillment. I feel like someone may feel like, you know, this connection is cold. Um, maybe you are being cold or maybe this person treated you very cold uh, in the past and that's what you had to heal from. And maybe they're receiving that karma that I was picking up on earlier. But this is for the lover in you. So you had to love yourself. Um, Self-love is the best love. Self-love is also attractive. Um, love you, you know, is an inside job. So I feel like a lot of you Pisces had to take the time to heal yourselves, nurture yourselves, love yourselves because maybe you was dealing with someone who was like a snake in the past, someone who took advantage, um, someone who could have have literally like um stabbed you in the back deceived you betrayed you or something of that sort uh what i see here now is i see uh the um knight of pentacles so there is someone wanting to return who you're attracting is someone that wants to return and be generous be giving be you know be more um intentional uh they want to shower you with all that you need especially with for the lover in you maybe this is something that you are um igniting within within this person and they are really like wanting to uh take their time to get things right so this is that type of person that you know is very meticulous very strategic so they could be planning and preparing a way to come in so that they could give you the love that they know you deserve because they see how much you're loving yourself and Self-love is always more attractive, but you're also teaching people um, how to treat you, you know, so that's powerful. So um, who is this person? Our beautiful Pisces are attracting to them. We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have this eight of swords. So this eight of swords speaks to someone that's really up in their head, mentally conflicted, ruminating and pining over the situation. I see the two of pentacles. So someone could have been juggling. You know, someone could have been trying to juggle you, juggle someone else. Maybe, like I said, someone is listening to music. It's reminding them of you. Maybe this is, a uh, you know, one of those experiences where um, someone could be trying to find balance. Maybe someone is dealing with a lot. We also have the observer. So, yeah, they're sitting down, taking time to meditate, contemplate, you know, doing some internal self audits. I also feel like they're trusting their intuition. You know, this is that person that could be observing you from a distance as well. But with this eight of um, the observer and then this two, I do feel like there was uh, some sort of, as I'm saying eight. I don't know why I'm getting eight from that, but this observer with all these eyeballs, it just shows like, you know, this is someone very intuitive, very psychic. This could speak to your energy as well, because how they feel about you is you're very observant. They feel like you're very like intuitive, psychic, you like all the clairs down, you know, clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, like they could feel like you're very, and this is that person, maybe they feel judged by you or seen like, you know, this person could have been doing some things behind the scenes and you caught on, you know, because you're very intuitive and we have Mary J. Blige, you remind me. So this person is in a very nostalgic space, reminiscing. Let me turn this down so I don't get a strike. And that could be why they're up in their head. That's where I was getting that eight. Pardon me. So this person could be like, you know, really, um, is how they feel about you is you're an observer. So they feel like you're very psychic, very intuitive. Like you could just, you could see right through them, especially with all these eyeballs. They may feel like you got people everywhere. Like they may feel like you, you caught on to the fact that maybe they were juggling. They got two people, two different options, you know, um, with this eight of swords, what's hidden is somebody is really up in their head because, you know, with this, you remind me, this is like constant thoughts, 
thinking, overthinking, especially with that eight of swords. This is like self-imposed mental anguish. Maybe this person is trying to pen an apology letter, you know, or something to that degree. And they're just kind of fighting it. You know, this monster is literally like, you know, what's going on in their mind. You know, they're in two minds. So, you know, the, the devil, uh, the devil's playground is the mind. So this person is really battling it out with the devil within their mind. Um, but they're going to find clarity. There goes the king of swords. There we go. So now they're trusting, you know, and that feather is very indicative of the angelic presence, especially with the sun shining. So now they have the illumination and clarity. So this, this confused energy is no longer there. I, I feel like whoever this is, whether this is your energy, it's almost like now you see things from a bird's eye view, more logical, uh, definitely going to cut free um, of anything that no longer serves your highest good, including, you know, negative self-thought or negative thought, you know, um, negative self-talk. Uh, but this right here with the four of swords, I'm strongly feeling like, you know, there's a sense that someone could be trying to trying to distract you off your path and you need to use discernment. Because you are ascending, you're leveling up. It's like a higher degree and someone could be trying to, you know, distract you off your path. As you saw with that four of swords, he was going up the, you know, up the stairs and someone was like kind of calling him back down. So I don't know why I'm cutting the cards again. <laughs> so we're going to just finish. So we got the fool here. This is what's hidden. So the fool is the fool is really like someone wanting a, a fresh start. And I feel like you're analyzing this and, and, and seeing if this is something you want because you know that the fool is literally like, you know, he's packing light, number one. So there's no guarantee he's there to stay for a long time. 11-11, I just saw on the clock. You want to make sure this is worth your while. You know, you don't want somebody coming around to monkey around or to, you know, have you in monkey mind like you were trapped before. Um, this is also, you know, saying like, you know, maybe this is somebody who tried to play you for boo-boo the fool in the past or somebody who was foolish in the past. But spirit is telling you, trust your intuition. Um, with you, remind me, maybe somebody's just coming back because it's Mercury retrograde and they're feeling a little nostalgic. And once everything goes direct, they're going to be back when they bull crap and they're going to be ghosting your ass yet again. Um, with the six of swords, spirit's telling you keep it moving on upward and onwards um don't look back because whoever this is they're still they're, they're still sneaky this is somebody sneaky this is someone that's a false person uh hoods are always like someone concealing themselves concealing their true intent their true um you know what, what, what you know their true intentions uh but you could see you have your 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 um shield right where this person is so you're you're protecting yourself and you're not even looking at them you're looking past them you don't even acknowledge them so it's like you're you're moving upward and onward you're moving on and this person could be trying to distract you um and if you look there's like there's a, a someone's trying to like they, they're they're in a hospital and there's like a doctor i guess performing some sort of surgery uh, so whoever this is, this is definitely someone that you have he since healed from uh, and you healed because you removed yourself from that situation and you may have created a protective bubble. You could have moved away. You're very confident, very passionate um, and, and you're not afraid, you know, to, to go to battle. Um, and you've also blocked this person. You've also blocked this person off. Um, there's no communication. And this is why they kind of spy um, on the side. We have Nas, the pressure here, uh, playing right now. So this person is feeling all the pressure from you moving on and creating that protective bubble for you, uh, creating that safe space. You may have created like a sanctuary, um, but they cannot penetrate. They cannot you know, and the pressure of it all is stressing them out. So what is the outcome for my beautiful Pisces? May I have a message of love and light? We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to right out. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have seven of swords. Didn't I say there was deceit? So this person's games in the past, that's why they feel the pressure because it caught up to them. You know, the outcome is we have the nine of wands. So you're still guarded. You know your worth, your value. And remember that same person that was in the bed? Now they're up in the bed sick. You know, this person is really up in, in, you know, and it's because of thoughts of you. You, you, whoever this is, I feel like you've given someone chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity. And each time they just, you know, they failed you. See, 
They're trying to distract you. This is the Four of Swords. So you're moving on, and this person is still trying to pull at your, you know, pull at your coattail, or still trying to distract you off your path. And that 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 hawk in the sky is reminding you to to look at things from a bird's eye view. Um, you know, you're you're now finally free from any confusion or illusion that you could have been a part of. This person is feeling the pressure of losing you because you are moving on. Um, you loving you yourself and you means that you're not uh, overcompensating and in, in giving them all your love and time and attention. This person is deceitful. They're a snake. They're tricky. You see how this monkey is sipping water and he has a mask, but this lion is no fool. When he gets up from drinking the water, what you think this lion is going to do? So this person is a liar. They're a very master manipulator. So let's tap in, beloveds. So let's see what we got. And look what we got. And we got earth, wind, and fire, it says on your face. So it's written all over someone's face. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I think of a, what's on your face, I think of a mask. And it's just like what this monkey is wearing is a mask. So he can sip water. He has a mask, you know, facing the back to confuse the monkey. But what's on this person's face is imagine what's going to be on their face when that <laughs> lion turns around. And let me show you the name of the song so you so I can show and prove. So we got the on your face here, earth, wind, and fire. All right. So you could be dealing with an earth, uh, air, or fire sign. All right. And look what we got. I can't make this up. Thief. So someone is very sneaky. Trust your intuition. That 24 is telling you, trust your intuition. Do not just, you know, get all googly eyed when somebody returns or somebody reaches out. We got 15, 6. So this is also, you know, trusting because you can have options here. You can have one true flame, one false flame. This is really somebody who is uh, trying to come in and, and, um, confuse you that could be why the two of pentacles is there because there's an option you know there's a decision or a choice you're going to have to make that's why spirit is you know telling you to you know sit down and observe you know strategize by spirit of love and light by spirit of love and light we get one more thank you and we're going to cut the deck my spirit of love and light. What's coming in for my beautiful Pisces? We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. What's coming in for my beautiful Pisces? So this uh, concern is clarifying the nine of cups. So someone has concern because you're not, you know, giving them all of your time and attention. The attention whore can no longer get your time and attention. So now they're up in their head because you're loving on you now. You're being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. What we have here is change. You've changed. This person cannot accept the changes. Also, someone who was sitting around juggling, you may have moved away. Because I was getting, you know, with that six of swords that you could have relocated, moved away from that rocky situation and found a, pay, you know, a safe haven, created more of a safe haven and put yourself in like a protective bubble, a shield. So you could have relocated, moved away, packed your ish up and left, bolted yourself up out of there. I feel like this person also wants change in their life. Why is this two of uh, pentacles here for the person that our beautiful Pisces are attracting to them? Maybe that's something you desire. So we have expectation and we also have judication. And on the bottom of the deck, pathway. So this is someone that had high expectations of a situation and now they could be going through some sort of divorce proceedings you know maybe someone was juggling the fact that you know they had two people someone was expecting something more from someone who was already in a marriage in a relationship in a some domestic partnership and so this was the juggling act you know this was what had led to all of the confusion um the heartbreak so someone was expecting something that someone could not deliver because they was already involved in a whole relationship you know what I'm talking about and it was you know on their face is guilt maybe that's what's riddled all over someone's face is guilt but we have pathway so someone is absolutely looking you know beyond how things appear and imagining themselves uh, in this new you know in this new cycle um, someone may look at you and see that you're on a new journey uh, you're on the precipice of some new start. Maybe there's some sort of wishes coming true for you or a blessing that's coming true. Why is observer here for how this person, thank you spirit, 
and we have mature men so that's maturation that's growth look at that yeah this is what you you got your eyes on the prize it's like if it don't make dollars it don't make sense this is what you're looking for courtship you're looking for real love ship you're looking for somebody that speaks your love language you're looking for someone that is going to emote someone that's going to be expressive but also your twin flame that four is the vibration of 11 11 um this also is someone whose heart chakra is open someone has been like waiting for this or looking for this you know looking for the signs um and i feel like the sign will be when someone takes the time to show you just how much they care take the time to show you just how special you are and this is someone mature someone very well learned well traveled they may think the world of you there could be distance emotional physical but there is someone who has their eye on you i feel like this person has been growing maturing and healing um but more importantly they are spiritually strong so there is a connection uh, and I do feel like they will express these feelings um, because they have learned to emote. They've learned and that's what they're going to take that leap of faith and just show how wise they are, show how intuitive um, we have the system. You are in my system. So you're in this person's system. They can't stop thinking of you. This is why they want to take that leap of faith. I also feel like this person is, you know, um, wanting to apologize because I see that little flower in their hand and this is someone who's grown up so why is the fool here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Pisces and then we're going to wrap it up why is this fool here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Pisces spirit may have a message of love and a message of light why is this fool here for my beautiful Pisces why is this fool here for my beautiful Pisces spirit as this food thank you spirit and then we have imprisonment see that pathway so this pathway opening up a new pathway so they want to take this leap of faith they want to be more spontaneous because wherever they are whatever this is this they feel entrapped they feel like they're in prison this same card came out i believe for scorpio or it may have been for cancer pardon me and it's because wherever they are, you know, this is the two, the two of pentacles, this 29 reduces to 11, that's two. So they are somewhere where they feel very much imprisoned. They feel stuck um, with the system. I feel like they feel like they're stuck in a, a vicious cycle. Um, you know, when you think of prison, they usually call it the prison complex system or something to that degree so the system this is how they feel like they're imprisoned mentally emotionally they don't have free dome um and so they're looking uh you know to take some sort of leap of faith to go out on a voyage you know this is someone looking for change looking for some sort of transformation in their situation um but also someone who's been praying remaining hopeful maybe they're you know walking in faith as well uh but there is definitely like imprisonment so why is this nine of wands here may I have a message of love and life for the outcome why is the nine of wands here why is this nine of wands here for the outcome for my pisces see that you're protecting your peace this is also fortune things turning around in your favor some sort of blessing you're not allowing anybody to steal your peace, your happiness, your joy. And for that, you are being rewarded because you have learned to heal thyself. You've learned to grow. You've been forgiving. You've also learned to create boundaries. You've learned to love thyself. You've learned to 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 display that self-discipline. And so spirit is rewarding you. This is like an answered prayer, a wish fulfillment. Um, this is also saying like there's someone coming in that you could have called for, called in, official person, uh, divine masculine or divine feminine. You both are in that vibration of two. And that's given me like, you know, again, you know, the two of cups. You have to be able to, you know, love yourself before you can love anyone else. And so that four is showing like, you know, the emotions uh, the emotional fulfillment, the happiness, um, as well as just sharing that, you know, sharing that emotion with someone else. With this Four of Swords, you've been very focused on, you know, healing yourself. You've been taking accountability as well, taking onus for things that may have occurred. And whoever this official person is, um, they may be, you know, getting, you know, uh, capturing, you know, intriguing you or uh, maybe they're saying some things that intrigues you you know which which has you like you're, you're you're on this voyage but someone official may step in so let's see what they what this energy is why is this four swords here for the outcome i have a message 
of love and light. That could be spirit saying someone could be coming in. Now, we got Jocelyn Brown, somebody else's guy. So, remember, initial feeling was like someone was distracting you. So, you know, check for the red flags, beloved. You don't want to be back in the same boat because this could have been someone else. This could have been that person that was somebody else's guy also returning. And so we have this card that was showing up, community. So trust your own intuition. You know, this three is also about you, you know, being very um, wise in your actions. Because uh, that's about courage, strength. That's about trusting your gut instinct as well. Because that three is associated with, you know, the... Uh, you know, the uh, solar plexus. So this is about going with your gut instinct, going with that, that, you know, because that's like your second brain. And I feel like it's because spirit, your angels, your ancestors are telling you it's time to break this chain. This card also showed up, I believe, in either Scorpio's reading or cancer. But this is like an anchor. This is an energetic anchor that is broken. So I feel like spirit is saying, like, keep it moving, you know, keep it moving. Three is about planning, preparing, strategizing, taking action. Uh, but that's also about going with your gut instinct because somebody could still be uh, tied to someone else. With that somebody else's guy there, um, that could be someone still tied to another person in another relationship, uh, still trying to work things out um, or trying to cut things off. Okay, so just be mindful. Use your intuition is what I'm gathering mostly um, because I do feel because it's 758. And so that reduces to what's that? 15, 6. And five, that's two, yeah, 11, that's two. So that's that person that's still confused and conflicted. And they could be just coming around to confuse you, you know. And Spirit is saying it's time to, to break that chain, you know, to cut your losses and to keep it pushing. What's underneath that? Yeah, someone's still childish. Someone is, needs to heal their inner child. And I feel like someone is still, um, you know, still in some sort of marriage or in some sort of commitment where they reside with another person. And, you know, they haven't they haven't made the change yet, but they are working on it, I suppose. But this is your reading Pisces. I hope the message is resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, um, I hope you stay a while. I hope the message is resonated. All right. And definitely subscribe if you feel so inclined. Ashe. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time. Peace. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that higher frequency first type visions is doing readings for all signs now, not just Scorpios. All right. Peace.